Finally tonight, a sneak peek at a new PBS program, America Outdoors, premiering tomorrow, July 5th. The six-part series is hosted by best-selling author and outdoor enthusiast Baratunde Thurston. Our own Student Reporting Lab's podcast host, Zion Williams, caught up with Thurston to learn more. Baratunde, it's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Zion. Thanks for having me here. Can you tell me a little bit about your PBS uh, America Outdoors? Oh, yeah. This show I think of as America Dramatic Pause Outdoors. And so I got to interact with Americans of all different kinds in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay as they pull up the crabs that they're raising, in the mountains of Idaho hiking with refugees, or the Appalachian Trail with the woman who set the record there, surfing in LA with more black people than I've ever seen on surfboards at one time in my life, and with a lot of indigenous nations in their lands and seeing how they interact with the land, which is something that we're all trying to relearn. You know, even as we've discarded so much of their history and pretended they don't exist. So this show is humbling, is thrilling, is a little dangerous, and a lot of fun. The show is a lot of fun. I'm really, That's I learned good. a ton. That's good, I'm glad. But what do you want your audience to gain from watching that show, from watching America Outdoors? I want us to remember that we, um, with all of our differences, still share common ground. Literally, we share access to these beaches, to these trees that help us breathe. And that sometimes it's easier to connect when we're not actively trying to do that. So I want people to see each other. I want people to see this show and be like, yo, America's big <laughs> and it's wild out there and it's beautiful. And look at all these different people finding shared value in this common ground. I think it's important that you actually go and see people um, without social media, you know, without oh, that, yeah. without the internet, without that, um, really those distractions. They, have, they come with filters, yeah. you know, uh, practical, actual, and metaphorical filters, mm -hmm. and that can skew our perception. The other thing I'd say is, you know, the show is also a show about climate and about the climate crisis, indirectly. Again, the show is about politics, indirectly, social issues, indirectly. but. There was nowhere that I traveled with this crew that wasn't deeply affected by climate change. In some places, it was literally hard to breathe because of smoke. In other places, there were no fish because the water was too hot and it was cooking the fish. It was really painful at some moments and then really beautiful and humbling in others to remind myself of what it is we're trying to preserve, which isn't just nature, you know, it's really ourselves. Mm -hmm. I know this question has been asked a lot um, about young people, but yeah. what advice do you have for them in embracing their identities? Finding yourself through nature, I encourage it, and I encourage you to be very broad in your definition and interpretation of what that means. You, know, you can be in the outdoors in your front yard, on your stoop, in your backyard, on your walk to school or to work or to practice, uh, just sitting by the river. You don't have to get in it. <laughs> you can just be by it. Just touching a tree can be very profound and allow us to slow down. Tune in to, to America Outdoors tomorrow evening right here on PBS. Check your local listings. And you can listen to the NewsHour Student Reporting Labs podcast on our minds wherever you get your podcasts.